Okay, so this one will be the third topic I'm going to cover today. What is radio introduction? Okay, so this one will be the objective I'm going to discuss. So describe the basic knowledge about the wireless radio, the working principle and feature of wireless radio. So I begin on the first content here, basic knowledge about the brilliant radios. So this is the radio spectrum or we can also call this as the um, the radio frequency. So it's starting from the 3 hertz until to the 300 gigahertz. So carry for the Wi-Fi we're using in the frequency at this level, the UHF. Okay, we stand for the ultra high frequency and also one inside the super high frequency area, which is the 5 gigahertz. Okay, this is the carrier wave. So carrier wave is the basic of the wireless communication. So following the figure show the basic carrier wave. So you can see this is the um, look like for the carrier wave. So the wave is generated by the transmitter and it does not carry any information. So the wave will remain unchanged when it's reached the receiver. Okay, so this is a radio wave. Then we have a wavelength here. So the wavelength actually is start to calculate from the peak on the top here. You can see they have a, um, the A to the B and then the lambda here. So the wavelength is the distance between the two successive peak or through the traveling wave at a fixed frequency. So we actually have some of the formula here the, for the calculations. So the, ra the radio wave travel at the speed of light. So they're using this formula, the lambda equal to CF. So the lambda is a wavelength of the radio wave and the C will be the speed of light. So by giving the value is like this, 299792458. And the F will be the frequency that we're currently using. So if you want to go to and calculate what is the, um, the wavelength, Okay, in the meter for 2.4, so it can just calculate by this way. So this is 299792458. Okay, then divided by frequency. All right, so this is a frequency that we want to use 2.4. Okay, 2.4. So this is in um, 2.4 is a gigahertz. So in the megahertz, we look like this one. But when doing the calculation, we're using the hertz. So that's why I have to add another two, three, one, two, three. So this one is the number value that we need to input. So we can need this answer. So the wavelength for 2.4 will become 0 0.125 in the meter. Okay, so this is the way for us to doing the calculation. Then the next one, amplitude. So the amplitude is the longest distance away from the equilibrium position as shown in this figure, right here. Okay, this is the amplitude. Then the next one is the phase. The phase is a fraction of the wave cycle which is elapsed relative to the origin. It's the mark of the wave location compared to the peak or truth. So this is the phase. We have a 90 degree, 180, 270, and 360. So we also can call it a phase angle. It's usually expressed as a degree or in the radian. Then the next, we have the phase signal enhancement. So this, this is happening for our radio wave when it's trying to transmit to the A. So we have the transmitter and also the receiver, like by giving the example. So I have one of the AP here. So the AP, this try to transmit the signal and deliver to our PC. So let's say this is our PC, the laptop, we try to receive the signal. So when this AP, they try to transmit through different types of radio wave and deliver to our PC here. Okay, so of course we can receive these two radio waves at the same time. But when they're going to chat, 
actually the the amplitude here the not this this one is 90 degree okay let's give an example the face is 90 degree and both of them have the same amplitude okay it's the same so when these two is the same amplitude at the same face so the signal strength will be enhanced so 1a will become 2a so this is the reason why the signal strength can be strongest by this way it this is only happening when they have the um the same um, amplitude at the same phase. So we call it as a phase signal enhancement. Then the next one is the intonation. What if in the reverse way, when the amplitude at the phase here is actually different at the 90 degree? It's right here, 90 degree. But the amplitude here is different. So this one is plus and right here is the minus. So when plus and the minus going to add up together, so they will cause the signal strength become weakened. So this is the reason why why some of the time we, when we receive the signal strength, the signal is uh, up and down. So when two different types of the radio wave hit at the same time, the phase and the, uh, the amplitude is different, they will cause the intonation or enhancements. So this is the reason why we receive a signal strength will be decreased when they actually have a different amplitude. The period and the frequency. So the period is the time during which an object complete one vibration. So every single radio wave, they have one vibration like this we'll call it as one vibration, okay, 360 degree. So it's usually repres uh, represented by the letter T. Okay, so this is the T right here. So this is the wavelength in the seconds. So frequency is a number of time that a vibrating object finish vibration within a second. So in one second, they can complete how many vibrating. So they're usually using the letter in F. Okay, this is the uh, Hertz. So the relationship between the period and the frequency as below. F equal to 1T. So what they're trying to explain right here is the longer the period, the slower the vibrating. By giving the graph like this one. So they have timer. Okay. Just some of the example only. So this is 0 0.5 seconds and this is 1 seconds. So now I want to send out the radio wave. They want to complete one vibrating. So they're going to take around like 1 second to finish. So for this kind of the vibrating, they have the, the slow um, uh, the slow frequency, Okay, the low uh, frequency what we call it. But what if they can able to complete the, the vibrating within a seconds? So I can finish the vibrating within a seconds, like this one. Half of the second I already finished one vibrating. Then I can do another vibrating in another half in a second. So I can do two vibrating. So basically for this frequency we we'll call it as a high frequency. Number two, the working principle of WN radios modulation and the demodulation. So the modulation is a process during which digital baseband signal are converted to digital modulation signal. They are suitable for the channel transmission. So in another word, for all the digital signal, when they actually want to transmit to the A, the first thing they have to do is doing the modulation. So they based on what kind of the information that you want to transmit and then doing the converting. Okay, so for those of the signal going to transmit to the to the A, we're using the modulation. When the receiver receive um, the uh, the radio wave, they have had to do the demodulation and convert it back become the digital signal. So as right here, you can see they have one of the digital signal. Okay, this is a digital signal right here by giving. Okay, this one is zero. One, zero. Okay, so this is the bit. 
when they go into using this type of the modulation, we call it as an AM. In the AM modulation, it will going to convert the zero bit into this radio wave. Okay, so this is happening to the AM. When they carry one bit information, so this is one bit. The one bit information, you actually notice the amplitude here. They actually increase. So inside the amplitude, when they have carried any bit information, so the amplitude here will be increased. Inside the frequency modulation in the FM mode, so we will notice when we don't carry any information, so the radio phase still maintain the original radio form. When they carry one bit information, so they will do dual vibrating in a second. So this is a frequency modulation. And last, the phase modulation, the PM. When carry the one bit information, we will notice the beginning is like this, the radio wave. One bit information to become reverse. Like doing the mirroring. Okay, so this is uh, what we call the phase modulation. So there's a uh, three different types of the modulation, uh, modulation here for the radio wave the feature of WLAN radios. The first one is an absorption. Absorption occur when the radio frequency signal encounters material that can absorb their, the energy during the transmission process. So this may result in the signal intonation. As you can see from the picture here, they have the radio wave which try to pass through certain um, objects. Okay, this is an obstacle. So at the beginning, my amplitude level is at a very high level. When they try to pass through this object, after they pass through this, you'll notice the amplitude here become lower if it's already weakens. But anyway, uh, for the face and the, the size of the radio waves is still maintain the original form. They won't change anything, only affecting the amplitude. Then the next we have the refraction. Refraction is only occur when the radio frequency signal encounter the intensive refractive material. So this one will be the uh, material they will not allow those of the radio frequency to pass through. So when the, the radio uh, radio wave hit on this kind of the material will be refracted to another angle. Then the next is the scattering. When the IF signal encounter the rough or uneven material, or material composed of tiny particles, this signal might scatter in a different direction, as they are refracted by the irregular tiny particle in the medium. Refraction occurs when the radio frequency signal encounter the surface separating the two different media during the transmission process. Okay, as shown in the picture here. And then the diffraction occur when the signal encountered object that cannot be penetrated or they can't even absorb it. So it's totally blocking the radio frequency to pass through. So when this object is located at the meter, then you create another bright spot on this area. So for those who try to receive a signal strength at this area, they'll no longer to receive anything. Okay, because all the radio wave is already spread by this obstacle. Intonation. When the radio, sing, uh, the radio frequency signal are sent out from the transmitter, their signal strength is reduced due to the external factor. So this is called the signal intonation. They are always caused by many other types of the reason. Like example, the first intonation will always caused by the cable. Okay, so depend on the how long um, how, of the cable that we're using. Okay, and maybe of because of the obstacle, some of the object when we're doing the um the radio waves transmitting from the receiver and the transmitter and this object is just broken in between so they also will cause this um, intonation and the third is the noise interference because the wireless is um, almost like anywhere for those of the object like Bluetooth, infrared even for those of the cell phone they broadcasting those kind of the signal also will cause the interference and because of the 
long distance. That one will be the last one. So the further that you go, if you're far away from the the AP, the access point that we currently connected, so they also will cause the intonation. Then this is the multipath. During the transmission process of the radio frequency signal, multiple transmission path with different delay and intonation coexist due to the sus factor as a refraction and diffraction. So this is one of the examples here. The SDA actually is putting outside of the building. So maybe this is one of the public area. So this user is already connected to one of the um, the public AP, and he try to access to the the internet. Okay, they have a free Wi-Fi access, but at the same time, the surrounding have many other um the public building. They also provide the the Wi-Fi access, but of course, even this is not the free Wi-Fi access, but they still cause the interference. So this is actually what they're trying to um discuss here. Then the next is again, the strength of the radio frequency signal can also intensify during the transmission path. Usually, it's a re uh, realized that after the signal passed through the antenna module. So we'll notice when um, the, the radio frequency, they try to transmit from one device to the another antenna. If the cable is too long, they will cause some of the intonation or maybe they will weaken the signal strength. So if we want to strongest back the signal strength, we can try to using some of the um, the accessory okay, to support it. Like example, some of the antenna module, they can give us the, uh, the gain. And this is the Fresnel zone. So the Fresnel zone actually is located here. As you can see, this is the, the circle. All right, so this is what we call the Fresnel zone. So this is mainly used for those of the auto deploying AP. So when doing the project for the auto deployment, so we need to do a lot of calculation. So we need to know what is the distance in between two different antenna here. The distance, okay, the, this is the distance. And half of the antenna, okay, the height of the antenna, and how strong of the antenna again, and the type of the antenna that we have to choose. So these are all the things we have to concern about that when we're doing the deploy for the outdoor AP. And so this is a summary here. The basic knowledge about WLAN radio, working principle of WLAN radius, feature of WLAN radius.